You are now listening to the Salty Virgins Podcast. Welcome to the Salty Virgins Club Podcast. I am your host, Kevin. I am joined today here by the whole cast, as well as all of our beautiful followers on Twitch. Say what up, everyone, in the chat. It's some pogs. Today, pew, 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 today, pew. here's it. So... So, okay, so, here's the story. Actually, I don't know the story. I don't know what we're talking about. You don't have good. a goddamn you're, thing. You're getting it. <laughs> you pretty deep in your bag, though. What's up, uh, Clarky? Poggers. So, are we, we're starting off with Panda Sex Tape, right? Uh, yeah, I don't yeah. think there's any other way to start this off. Them pandas be fucking. <laughs> ying, ying, and, uh. That panda been, was railing out the other panda. It was what are their names? Patrick hit the group chat at 8 a.m. <laughs> with panda sex. <laughs> 8 a.m. Just Ling Ling is beating the brakes off Ying Ying or whatever the fuck. Said, it, yeah, we were just busting the brakes. Busting. He said Ying Ying is busting the brakes off of Lin Lin. Or I don't remember. It's Ying Ying and Lili. Which, yes. Lili. Wildly racist names for pandas. What Aren't they named by the Chinese government? Are they? Okay, that's fine. Aren't the pandas in China? Like, isn't no, that the they're whole in thing? France? Oh, uh, no, Hong Kong. Yeah. Hong Kong. Uh, so that's China. So well, it's not China. No, 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 no. Hong Kong. <laughs> well, okay, China. it's not <laughs> China, no. but you, they are Chinese people. Uh, listen, I'm not going to get into the semantics of that. I'm not either. No, we're just going to watch these pandas fucking. <laughs> Uh, wait, please don't share. Uh, your yeah, share the screen. Hold on, Jeff. Share the screen, please. Absolutely. Come not. on. I'm not trying you to can bring it on. No, it's it's safe for work. All right, th- share it right now. Is it? Are pandas safe for work? <laughs> pandas are safe for work. Sure. Okay. Uh... It's a live bear. All right, also, so this will be our last Twitch stream. <laughs> also, there was a tweet with a picture of this, and I thought that was dumb enough. And then, I don't know who sent the th- the fucking tweet with the video, but someone recorded these pandas fucking. Uh, she yeah. was throwing that thing the... back, though. <laughs> oh, my God. She was throwing it back. <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> they were, in fact, fucking, for the first time in, what, 10 years? A 11 years? Decade. Something like that? Yeah. Who knew? Which Once is... you get rid of all the fucking people in a zoo, the animals like to do animal things. <laughs> That's weird. Fair. Who would have saw that coming? Except for the person recording. Or I guess they might have just have cameras on the pen. That or They probably just have cameras on the pen. You can probably watch that as a live stream right now. Oh, I know. I mean, yeah, you know, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let me pull it. Let me pull it up real quick. Yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick's okay. definitely going to get this stream shut down because he keeps playing the porn up music. <laughs> and they definitely have rights to that. Whatever. Would this be that bad if this got shut down? <laughs> it would probably be better for society. <laughs> but I mean, like, the New, York, the New York Times wrote about these pandas. Fucking. I mean, it was kind of a historic event, which is weird. What would be wild is that, like, if the panda doesn't get pregnant. Panda watch! That would be <laughs> shitty. Daniel said if you stop at 24 seconds, you can see Ying Ying initiate his vinegar strokes. <laughs> I didn't want to see that. I didn't even want to think about that today. I don't want to see that. He hasn't been in his vinegar. Shorts. He hasn't been in his vinegar strokes in 10 years. Let the man live. Fair. He probably busted an insane amount. I don't got to talk about it. it. Nope. Don't have to say those three words. That doesn't have to be a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> but we all understand what happened there. They know sent us a picture of when Yin Yin hit his, Yin Yin hit his vinegar strokes. <laughs> Jesus. In the Discord. No, thank you. 24 second timestamp if you want to check it out. <laughs> We will not be That's tweeting this one. Awesome. <laughs> Wait, is it the picture of him with uh, him arching Lily's back? Oh, God. Uh, he's cool. just holding on for dear life. <laughs> She's touching her toes, and he's just hanging on, and that's just... <laughs> he think he me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong. Good for Ying Ying. Get it how you live, King. Get it how you live. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing, Patrick? (laughs) Aren't pandas pregnant for a really long time, too? Or is that Uh, not it? Pandas just don't reproduce very often. 
They fuck. They don't reproduce. They there are certain do. animals that are pregnant for like years and years and years. Oh no, they're busting it down like four months, between ninety five and one hundred sixty days. This is, let's get quick. this shit done. Seems like a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's giraffes. Well, yeah, giraffe, fifteen months. Jesus. Also, humans like... are little bitches because every other species is away from their mom after like a year tops. Yeah, I listened to the mixtape today too, Kevin. I haven't listened oh, to it. Did they talk oh, about? Oh yeah, they talk about uh, how humans are weak as shit and like it's like when you're born and you're a bird, like mama bird pushes you out the nest, you either fly or you die. Yep. And like with elephants, like you're born, you have to start walking or you get left behind for lines. Brutal. Humans ain't Yeah, shit. babies do not come out cooked at all. They're not ready at all. Oh. Not even uh, close. So, uh, longest gestation period is uh, elephants for uh, 95 weeks. That's almost two years. Yeah, almost two years. But they come out fully cooked, so it makes sense. Ready to go. I mean, hopefully, or else they die. It's not like, a, we don't know that they're ready, they just... <laughs> we hope. It we takes, hope that they're ready. It takes baby giraffes like a day to figure out how to stand. And they humans? have long ass legs. How long does it take humans? When did babies start walking? 18 months? Something like that? Year and a half? They can't roll over for like nine months. <laughs> Their heads are... They just... can't <laughs> set up! <laughs> they can't even sit up! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing that more babies side don't to snap side. their necks <laughs> <laughs> Well, they can't snap them because the neck's not hard. Like, it's not it's not ready. Uh, like, the bones are jello until, I don't know, how long? 12 years? What? 13 years? Baby bones are like My jello bones are still when, jello. Until what age can you dribble a toddler like a basketball? At least, like, one or two. One or two, so at least a year to two years. So I would put a two-year-old through a hoop and he's fine. And still they're not fully developed. Facts. All right, quick pause. Uh, can we talk about how Dr. Fauci, that's how you pronounce his name, right? I've yeah. only ever read his name. Dr. Fauci. You didn't watch the Jesus Romero episode? N no. Uh, he should. said people should never again wash their hands, or uh, shake hands. Shake hands. Never again? <laughs> like, never. That, but that isn't that isn't a coronavirus thing. He said it in the context of, like, I mean, it would help stop spread the disease in general. Any disease. Or, uh, the spread of diseases in general. Goodbye, Patrick, he said it I guess. Lenses, but... <laughs> I'm just fixing something. Oh, God. Patrick's putting his dick yeah. away. <laughs> Thank God. The panda segment's over. <laughs> but, first of all, I'm still giving dap. I don't know about y'all. Uh, you will not ruin handshakes for me. No, thank you. Yeah, I, it's not gonna happen. It was just something... It, I mean, it's something that's true if you shake it's hands. It's a factual like, statement. It's just now we're, we've been doing this for 100 years. Yeah. I hate handshakes. No, what, it, would be, it, it, would, it would be nice to not have to give, like, weird handshakes and like formal so I have to learn how to fucking shake hands yeah it'd be great do what you did... know how to shake a hand yeah okay just make I sure. literally had to take classes at UCF to learn how to shake hands what oh god oh god <laughs> Patrick <laughs> <laughs> somebody get this man some water we can't see his face in your background though and that's easily the best part <laughs> you gotta move you to the see other his, side you can see the like pa slight panic setting in on his mouth <laughs> oh god this has gone downhill in what 10 minutes not even not even 10 minutes this yeah is eight and a half yep yeah, this is the experience shout out shout out us why is Austin uh, County on fire Ooh. oh no it's trying oh starting April 13th people must wear face coverings when in public places in Osceola County <laughs> what, <are you? laughs> what a background! Oh, god damn it! They're not gonna—they're not gonna provide any options for how to get those face coverings or. But they sure solution. are gonna find you five hundred dollars for not wearing one. I would like to say uh, I want to carve out a serious moment really quick. Uh, I hope that everyone is okay. I hope that everyone is you know getting everything they need. If you need something, uh, I hope that you are able to get in contact with the resources and things that are able to help you. I hope that everyone is not sick, and if they are sick, that they make a quick recovery. Even if I'm it's sick. not, 
Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> um, and if you have a little extra money, uh, donate it. Go to what the fuck is that? What I there's a charity checking website that like makes sure that charities are giving to the right people and you know making sure the funds go to the right people. What is the um, website? Charity. I wish yeah, I, they believe it's Charity Navigator. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yes, uh, CharityNavigator.org. dot uh, org. <laughs> and if you have a couple extra dollars, find a charity on there that's helping either medical professionals, essential workers, uh, slush <clears throat> funds, unemployment funds, anything that will help somebody else. Because though we may be fine, I know that other people are not. And I know this is a tenuous time for a lot of people. And I just want to make sure that everybody is all right. To make it easy for you, charitynavigator.org has a list of their best or list of highly rated nonprofits providing relief and recovery from COVID-19. Right on the there we go. front of their uh, website. So there we go. Choose one of those. Donate if you can. Yes. We'd hate to see you donate, personally. Hate, Relax. hate to see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that that is our serious moment. Uh, otherwise, you know, I hope everybody's healthy, happy, you know, making it through as best they can. Luna's still wearing her neck. I don't think she's going to figure it out. Has anyone gotten the stimulus yet? No. 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 I think that's supposed to start getting pushed out, like, next week. So, we'll see it in the end of May? Probably. I mean, it is direct deposit, so... Yeah, but it's the U.S. So government? I just got an email about uh, Universal closing their parks until the end of May. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's not looking great. No, Patrick, we're not going outside for the rest of the year. Like, I don't know what you think is happening. Yeah, one of us has a big event planned for the end of May. Listen, I, as of right now, we're in, but... It's not looking great. Are we not talking about my Memorial Day barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the year in, or summer starting... The budget. Uh, hey, Hannah! Um, the... Summer starting rib burning contest, yes. Oh, Hannah Milton in the chat. Hello, Hello Hannah. Yes. Uh, yeah, my wedding is probably gonna get pushed. We haven't <laughs> to made the weekend any of official decisions, but Lucas's bachelor party, it's fine. <laughs> well, it's I don't know. I'd like to keep it the same date, but <laughs> I. I... <laughs> I've never dealt with a global pandemic before, so I don't know how to handle this situation. <laughs> Hannah says, Zoom your wedding. <laughs> I will keep the same background. Listen, you are out here having... <laughs> <laughs> Patrick won't be invited. Wow. <laughs> Jordan, you have Matt, your speech ready? <laughs> I sure fucking do. I started writing that. I say it in the shower every day. Same with our vows. Yeah, I haven't started my vows. That's something you shouldn't say out loud. <laughs> she hasn't either. It's not like... I you got a month. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, we might have three or four months. Who knows? <laughs> Could be longer. Who's to say? Probably gonna be longer. I'm Damn, going to Kevin's be... getting married in 2021. If you get married on the same day as Patrick, I will lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> just, see, just see which wedding people go to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the one with the open bar, or we're st- <laughs> we're still Patrick. figuring it out. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking great. As he drops one hundred thirty dollars on a fucking fifteen-year-old console and game. This we just take turns playing golf. We sports. <laughs> hey, I hit a minus one in eighteen holes of golf today, so I'm all for it. Go, oh, buddy. Hooray! Kevin's got an open bar. <laughs> and probably barbecue. I'm probably going to so. barbecue too, to be honest. Barbecue's the move. Barbecue's the move. I agree. Yeah, I went through the process, and we're starting to do this, is trying to get some dates from vendors that, hey, if we were to reschedule... Shit! What we're... Yeah, Kayla's remembering that she forgot to text our uh, venue. But that's okay, because I haven't texted anyone else either. But we're trying to get dates from everyone, and I'm just going to try and get them on a list and see what happens. You're thinking if about getting dates from anyone, but no one's done any work whatsoever. <laughs> Well, we've done Love to f- see it. 
photographer was the first one because the venue and photographer are like our most important and then beyond that we're gonna kind of work it down but if there's one date that everyone can move to i may just do it and then if it gets into okay well if we move to this date we have to get x new vendor or all the all that bullshit we're gonna have to play it by ear but if i can move it really easily we might just do it i don't know there's a lot to, <laughs> Dan- a lot to figure out daniel just said pet drink ticket shit <laughs> <laughs> Daniel called you broke to your face. <laughs> He's not wrong. Spends $130 on a week. Make like it make sense. Drink no, I, will, I will bring at a At least flask. 13 drink tickets. Probably more. Why are you paying that, that's $15 dollars per drink? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's gonna you, make it back. He's gonna be selling Bud Lights for twelve dollars, like he's the biggest fool. If, if if you if you do it through your venue, it has that's to always more. Venue. Yeah, that's why I picked the venue that didn't require us go through them for anything, because it's so much more expensive mm-hmm. if you do. Tell me about it. <laughs> Pat was like the other day. Pat's so mad. <laughs> it was Pat is it was sick. around. I really like him. It was around when he. It was around when he signed at his venue. He it was like he said, "How much did you pay for food?" They told me they could do X amount of dollars for food included for guests. And I was like, oh, that's actually pretty good. It's only a little more than I paid. Or no, it was a little less than I paid. And then I was like, oh, wait, that's for 50. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, oh. Just that's... double that real quick. Are you guys only doing 100 like people? 120. Two and a half X. Yes. Oh, God. That matters. Pat drink the ticket, Shexy. That's hilarious. It's true. It is true. He said he was just going to give us each like 15 bucks cash yeah. so we could just use his nasty case. corona money to... <laughs> I don't have a problem bringing a flask to your Do wedding. <laughs> I got a couple. I have I one that's... planning on it. Yes. I'm not even invited yet. <laughs> yeah, neither am I, to be fair. Kevin, Kevin, I don't think anybody. Kevin has not <laughs> I got a flask with my name on it, and then I got a like a groomsman flask, and then I got another one. I need to figure out my groomsman gifts for you guys. Finally. Yeah. Well, I've been. <laughs> well, no, not the not like because you do, you can do a will you be my groomsman gift. I said fuck that, but also like day of yeah. gifts. Um, so we were looking at that. I need to, actually need to get back on that because. I'm, we were looking at it like two weeks ago and I had all this stuff picked out and then I just haven't touched it. And now it's getting to the point where it's like, well, I should probably order it or else. Maybe you guys will get it like a month after the wedding. Oh, huh, maybe you'll get your present Hell, a month the date, after the date wedding. might even be fucking wrong on it anyway. So it doesn't even really matter. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yep. We have some shit for our wedding that already has the date on it and we're like, if it gets moved, we're just using it. Like, no one's going to be like, whoa. <laughs> That's the thought that counts. Can't believe it. It's not- Everything Kevin gave out, he's so vain. Everything has his birthday on it. What a f- I can't yeah. believe this. <laughs> mm. So. A wild time. What else do we have to talk about today? Oh, we, we haven't talked about anything on the list. <laughs> Not a damn thing. No, we talked about uh, Panda 60. So we, we can talk, talk about, about the Panda Savage 60. Cheaters. We, we can talk about Marble Racing. Uh, the, the Savage Speeders took home the Marbula 1 crown. They won the last race, which... They were in second in the standings, and it gave them enough points to be first in the standings. So they won the whole Marbula 1. So the team that I picked at the beginning, the first time we ever watched any marbles, they Savage. won. Savage. So it was really nice for me. We have yeah. not done a goddamn thing since sports has gone, and we are now at each other's necks over so marbles. Mad. Patrick is so aggressively annoyed by this team, so and I have no mad. idea why. <laughs> There's not even a real like, during, rivalry. During qualifiers... No, their marble went during my marble's turn, and he was looking behind his shoulder the whole time, looking at the yellow flag, and then we got... The marble. Who's that? <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not gonna give this debate water. I just won't do it. It doesn't need it. It really it's doesn't nice need it. It's nice to be a champion. It's a shame that Patrick has to uh, fall back to cowardly coping mechanisms, but it's, it's nice to take first place in something for once. He is a yeah, UCF fan, once. you know? Besides the 40-yard dash. Oh, that's right. I should, I should have figured that out. Yeah. I should have known. You should have seen this mean? coming. He's going to order an o- o- Rangers Marbula 1 championship banner next. No, they were actually allowed to They were they were allowed to compete in the championship. So I can't do that. Oh, that's true. Well, I mean everyone. You can order a runner-up flag probably. 
right? They I don't even think first. they're runner up. They're oh. No. Oh, they got there. Oh. oh. They really blew it. Hate the last year. Let's get. Next cop. Let's get Patrick some uh, bronze medals. You can go up next to all those other bronze medals. Drop a bronze medal in the <laughs> chat if you feel bad for Patrick. There's also fan. Twitch emotes. Twitch emotes are a, another world to me because there's. I think at any time you have access to pretty much all streamers' <laughs> emotes, mm -hmm. unless like they're locked yeah. for subscribers. It's crazy to me. There's a lot of them. There's like an insane amount of them. There's got to be a bronze yeah. medal. There's a bronze medal emoji, so you can just drop that in the chat. Who? Uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna do that. Why would... All right, I'm I'm done looking for this. That was also so fast. my keyboard. <laughs> I spilled coffee on my keyboard. Uh. Kevin thinking me, wow. Monday, maybe? Mm -hmm. Monday or Tuesday, anyway. Uh, instantly, like, took it apart, because it's a mechanical keyboard, so you can take each individual, like, keycap off and let it dry, and then I've been cleaning it with, like, isopropyl alcohol. I did two rounds of that, so you just, like, clean it with a Q-tip, and it's the keys still stick a little, but it's sitting in my office, be or not my office, in the guest bedroom, mm -hmm. because it's been ready and put back together for about a day and a half now. But it's kind of like Schrodinger's cat for me, where there's a good chance when I plug this thing, it's not going to work. Because this thing took an entire mug of coffee to the dome. So, like, I'm pretty sure I shorted everything in that fucking keyboard. So but I, there's a chance it works, and so, if I don't plug it in, I'll never know. Yep. <laughs> smart, smart. I read this thing when I was fixing my MacBook. Um, If you flip it upside down and then put, like, a isopropyl alcohol-soaked paper towel on top or like underneath it it'll like suck everything out if it's like water-based which coffee is it'll suck everything out and then it'll just end yes, up on the towel reaction. yes mm -hmm. but it, it doesn't suck out the sugar residue and stuff like that it doesn't oh i drink black that's coffees. the problem yeah so i don't know about well, that, that's the problem is it i, I think i shorted everything and that it, no <laughs> no amount of fixing would fix that right? no no but the problem that. was that the keys were a little bit like they were gummy because they had the sugar, mm -hmm. um, but that I've pretty much fixed. But I'm just not sure this keyboard's gonna like work when I plug it in. Mm. And it's like a hundred dollar keyboard, so I'd, I'd like it to work. But... Kevin, your dad says you should use a sippy cup. <laughs> uh, it's still by his yeah, tongue. That's been discussed. <laughs> <laughs> I would still bite my tongue. <laughs> well, the first time we had a, a did we desk talk about that last mishap, week? Mishap. It was Kayla. Why he has a lid on his cup now. Yeah, because Kayla spilled water all over my brand spanking new work laptop. Like, oh, within the week no. of receiving my work laptop. Water, cut out. Yeah. Nothing. You hate to see it. So, I mean, we're good. I ended up getting a new one, and then the one that got water spilt on it after, like, a week of rest was able to turn back on, so they actually used it. So, <laughs> turns out, I didn't fuck anything up. But for a while, it looked like at my brand new company, I had just destroyed a... Uh, Laptop, brand new, pretty, probably pretty expensive laptop. They would have right off. That has a webcam at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's the Hell yeah. Yes. Yes. Everything else about the laptop's really nice. Except the webcam. That is that's now mandatory laptop, for existence. Because the new Dell XPSs have the webcam back at the top. <laughs> oh, they do? So, <laughs> ah, nice. I got the weird stepchild. Yep. Uh, I want to buy a, I want to buy a, like a real webcam, but everything's price gouged right now. I've looked every single morning all week, not a chance. Do you, uh, I mean, do you think if I went to Best Buy, do you think they just have one? Or? No, no, probably not. Trash. If you go to Best Buy's website and look for a webcam right now, every single option, even the fifteen hundred dollar Magnolia ones, are sold out. Maybe in like Wyoming, you could find one. That's the OnlyFans webcams. That's a fact. Webcam. Yeah, shout out OnlyFans. Uh, Mac, MacBook One. <laughs> I almost got a MacBook when I got the laptop replaced because uh, mm -hmm. I have an option to get a MacBook, but the problem is I would get a MacBook if I was coding because they've got a really nice setup for that. They but do. for what I need to do day to day, and a lot of my work is in Word, Excel, it's taking meetings, it's it's like it's like a lot of organizational work, mm -hmm. um, at least like programs. And then there's all stuff on the web, but that would be fine either way. But like yeah. Excel and stuff, I don't want to go away from that. Excel would, on a Mac is a pain in the fucking ass. I, yeah. Even I have to admit that. Like, it's awful. Yeah. There's a lot of good things about Mac. Especially if you're coding, Mac is, like, the way to go. Just because mm -hmm. everything's really set up nicely. The environment's really nice for it. But, um... And if work's paying for it, then... That's the only... Pro that's my big problem with Mac is the, is the it's price It's expensive point. for no reason. So if work's no paying reason. for it, then it's like... Of course I'll get one. But, yeah, I'm on, the, I'm on Windows. I'll probably stay on Windows. My boss just switched to Mac, and she said she's liking it now. But for, like, a month, she was having issues because the... 
the changeover from all of what you used to do with Windows PCs is not necessarily um, easy. If it's not simple, whole no. like work life is on your computer all the time, you know. And you don't know what you're missing, and then you got to realize like how it's different on the other side and everything yeah. like that. Exactly. Figuring out the multiple like desktop like the uh, whenever I would when I was a TA in college I would like go to help students on their uh, MacBooks and I'd be like first of all the scroll is always different than how I had it I would always be swiping around and shit would be flying around I forget about the command key it's all it was like a nightmare shout out the command key uh, yeah. but yeah it's even hard going from MacBook to MacBook like figuring all the stuff that you do and don't have and all of that so I get yeah. it. So when do you think the next time you'll be able to go to a bar and get a beer is? I fucking... Uh, September, October, maybe. Actually, probably not. You'll probably be able to. Like Should you June. go? Should maybe you. late May, early um, June. June. But... So I guess that's a bad question. When, when will it actually be okay for us to do that without it being like a health risk? When will so, there be we'll be told one. we're allowed to go. We're going to be allowed to go. And I'm going to look at this fucking like Johns like... Hopkins website. And we're just going to have a spike again. We're going to oh, go yeah. from beating this shit to like... It beating us again. Wow. Yeah. They're going to let 10 people in at a time at bars. Big fan. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. I Person. mean, to me, like, I, I miss going out and hanging out with people, but the fact that I can play drinking games with my friends over Zoom, and then I can be drunk as shit and just close my laptop to bed. and stumble <laughs> to my room and hopefully not fall into yeah. my dorm frame, uh, is awesome. Yes. Don't have to pay for an Uber. Uh, don't have to pay for a bar tab, really. It's great. I don't even have to worry about being like, all right, I'm going to leave. I can just fucking... <laughs> Irish goodbye. <laughs> this Zoom call is insanity. <laughs> Oh, Zoom call ended. No. Oh, oh I hate to see it. <laughs> it dropped. Who knew? We've been playing uh, Zoom poker as well. We yes. can just play poker and then be in a Zoom chat together. That's been a lot of fun. I I appreciate the um, that we're going through this bullshit in this level of technology that we have. Yes. <clears throat> Even 20 years ago. I'm I would have had to write a letter. Up. I guess 10 years ago for us, we would have been feeling a lot of the effects and also the technology wouldn't have been as good. 20 years ago, I mean, I guess we're like We just would have been on Xbox Live 10 years ago. Five and four and five. Yeah, that would have been bad. I would have wrote letters to you guys. (laughs) No, I wouldn't have. You would have heard from me. If this was 20 years ago, my parents would have straight Dearest Kevin. (laughs) Jackson, you be in the house and you don't say a fucking word. Like what? Like your parents wouldn't even know you were there. I don't think I could do that at age five. Try fair. Yeah, for a month straight. <laughs> Hello, Pentagon. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I know it's one of my fraternity brothers, but I don't know which one. <laughs> oh, hey, Durs. I think I met Durs. You have. He's super tall with the beard. I met a lot of. Oh, that's right. Durs is Travis's homie. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. to yes. that. <laughs> yes. Durs is the one that. Help talk Travis down from a night that he could have been very problematic. <laughs> well, he was problematic. He was just less problematic. <laughs> could have been more. Oh, that was a wild time. That was a wild I'm time. I'm having less problems at bars and saving money on alcohol. Honestly. All right, <laughs> It's quarantine. Hope you're doing all right, Travis. Hope you're having a good day. I, I have to say, as annoying as the uh, quarantining has happened, has been in terms of like the day to day stuff, like having to go to school online. Not hating the other stuff. The other stuff's okay. Uh, not having to be obligated to go anywhere. Who, buddy, is that nice? I've never been in my house so much. <laughs> you haven't worn shoes in a week. <laughs> I put shoes on today. I'm like, fuck, I haven't worn these <laughs> since Saturday. <laughs> my sneakers probably think I died. R.I.P. to Kevin. Kevin is now dead. <laughs> Lost him. I wonder why I was so quiet in here. I will miss him. First time, long time. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been kind of nice. Uh, the weather's been really fluctuating here. I don't know how the weather hot. is over there. Uh, it's hot, it's hot. It was hot like two days ago, and then yesterday I walked outside and it was like 57 degrees, and I was like, that what the fuck great. is this? <laughs> it's awful. He's back. Yeah, I went outside to like Casey in and I was blinded by the sun. And it's overcast. <laughs> Sounds pretty Florida. So that's how that's how I'm getting down during quarantine. Just 
You have big ass windows. Like, why? Yeah, with the blinds closed. Why? Why don't you open open those? Uh, because with the way my apartment's angled, if I sit at my desk during the morning, I just get blinded by sunlight. I had that at uh, my last house in Jacksonville. It was like if I worked from home, but it was from like three to six. Being at my desk was so hot and so bright, and even the blinds, like the way that the light came down, the way the blinds were, it was it was still kind of a pain in the ass. Because it was just a big ass window. It was super nice when the sun was not direct shining in your face, but then it's, like in those three hours, it was an absolute nightmare to be at that desk. I hate to see it. Also, my internet just like said nah for a good thirty seconds, nah, and then everything nah, just nah, started nah. up again. We were like, <laughs> you don't I didn't even it. have to rejoin the Zoom. All of a sudden, the shit just popped back up. They're like, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hope you're having a good time. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful day. I'd say. Oh, John's here in the chat. Or not in the chat, but I see him in the user list. He snuck in. Look at that guy. Uh, all right, let's see. Do we have any more topics to talk about? Yeah, I cannot like, talk about sneakers. I don't know. Like, I, I can talk about sneakers, but not really talk about sneakers like with you and Jackson. I told I asked you guys to look at the list at least once a week to see the updates so we could prepare for things, and no one ever does. That's no, a lot like, of work, I just, Jordan. I'm just not... <laughs> I'm not someone that can speak to like my top five. Like I would have to sit down do a lot of research day? to come up with a top five sneaker list. I'm yeah, just not what... like really a sneakerhead. Well, Patrick replied to the, the sneaker talk I was having, so I figured we could at least get three quarters of us in on this conversation. Yeah, I was just I like the Elevens. I would like a pair of Elevens. That's it. Barry Ventry is very low. Go on StockX. You can get a couple. For like less than you paid for a Wii, it seems. Pat, you gotta just download Goat, man, or StockX. Yeah, StockX. That's how I. If I'm bored, I'll just like scroll through some of those. Like I want to buy these. Really nice looking pairs of sneakers. Yeah. Uh, Big fan. Also, StockX is like the stock market, but for sneakers, so like you can manipulate the market a little bit. If you just offer really low, people will meet you at that price sometimes, depending on the shoe. Except that happened to me on Goat, and then it got sold, and then two days later my order nice. got canceled. I got a pair of Ultra Boost for like eighty dollars, and they accepted the the offer, and it was all good, and then canceled. So that was fun. everyone wants to hear about sneakers, Hannah. There's nothing else we can fucking do. <laughs> nothing else. Kevin going on. has an op- <laughs> also. I'm pretty sure you can jailbreak a Wii to like be able to download every single oh, game you could ever want I bought a jailbreak pay for it. yeah okay that's why you paid a yeah, premium no it's jailbreak and I just need to get like a external hard drive and hook it up there's Nintendo no get it. there's a premium for that because you can probably jailbreak no, a week the lady the right lady now. had so no idea easy. it was jailbreak I'm pretty sure <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think it's like that's the thing is since it's so old jailbreaking it is probably like super fucking oh, easy now because they're not keeping I've jail, I've jail for security measure it's really easy Wait, eighty dollars seems a, as an appropriate price for like a Wii. It's the cheapest. Also, fifty dollars for house. Wii Sports Resort. No, it's. No. I have a Wii at my house that I told Patrick yeah, about after he spent eighty dollars on a Wii. I, it's just collecting no. dust in our house. I, I'm sure you I knew that. Though. Fifty dollars for Wii Sports Resort and a controller that has the Wii Motion Plus in it, which it's it terribly. No, that's to find. fine. Did you didn't even buy what? two controllers? The you didn't the buy Wii two, came with two one? controllers. <clears throat> They're just right, the but did you buy the motion than... thing for? Both I just I bought another one? controller that has it in it already. So I bought another Wii Motion Plus adapter, which is like ten bucks. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but that that's what I'm saying is the eighty dollars is like I'm. You probably you could have paid my parents. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I didn't know There's you guys no had a Wii. That's very upsetting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. Also, is, that, is that Alex Mamanakis in the chat? It sure know. is. What's up, Alex? Probably just laughed at you. <laughs> he says Good, that's free. All <laughs> <laughs> he plays that. He plays what, that every play day. It, Poppy? <laughs> that's how he gets his tennis reps in now. Last time I was home, we tried to set up the Wii, but our TV doesn't even have the correct output. Like, input oh yeah, for it. they, they don't have uh, HDMI. Well, I'm surprised your TV I brought does, it home man. and I'm like, oh fuck, I don't know if I can play this. <laughs> <laughs> Does yeah, your TV it have has those components? Inputs? It has one set of components. 
Yeah. That's wild. Any That's TV insanity. built in the... Like, isn't it's a 4 relatively TV, new? Yeah. <laughs> Why would they know. put that shit on there? My no, I was, I was about to hook it up. I looked books. at the, the component thing, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I did not check it. Because <laughs> then you'd have to try and buy that adapter for, what, $7 million? <laughs> yeah, I would, just, I would play it in my bedroom TV. I know it, uh, that one has a component, but that would have been such a bummer. It ruins your entire <laughs> yeah. bedroom playing Wii Sports. <laughs> That fucking Wiimote's going Paris right to the living room. The bed's like pushed against the corner so it can stand. <laughs> <laughs> this man bought a Wii in 2020. I'm having a lot of fun. I don't, I don't care. I hope you are. You know, well, anything to make this better. Getting... Well, the thing is, I get it. Like, spending money to have fun. It's like a, it's like a nostalgic thing. But you're Patrick. You shit yourself at spending $3 on a, on a regular day. So I just can't get over the fact that you spent $130 for a 15-year-old combination of technology. That's fantastic. So, in Wii Sports Resort, when you play golf, you could put draw on your shots. So I, like, hooked it or... Oh, well, I've fit. played. I, had, I think I had a more that's normal great. childhood than you, Pat. I think, I think we've all played that. This man is being competitive against CP. I also think Patrick never had any of these things, so for him it's like... He's catching up. He <laughs> had a PS2. R.I.P. He had the Z, which was like the Wii, but way worse, and they never sold any copies. The what? Z. Let's just say. Oh. Let's just say. My, he had a game sphere. My cousins had Zunes. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense because Zunes were but more expensive even, than iPods. Not even Zunes when they were new. When Zune was dead, yeah. and then you could buy Zunes for like $40, because <laughs> that's when they got Zunes. So, funny story. I never Zunes. had like an iPod Touch or anything. But, uh, okay. well, hold on. And then my sister had one. So I finally decided I really wanted to play, I don't remember what game it was, but I paid like $3 on her iPod to play the game. And then as I was playing it, my it was my birthday, my parents gave me an iPod Touch. <laughs> you bought yeah. it on her, oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you could have made your account to download it on it, but that was probably not worth it. Also, remember when paying for apps was like a regular thing? I will not pay for it. You'd have to put a gun to my head to make me pay so, for something. There's been, in the past like four years, I've probably bought three or four apps. And it's usually because there's an app that I see, and there was one, it's like a weather app that I got. And honestly, I don't even know if it's better than free weather apps, but my friend was talking about how good it was. He really liked that it was able, it like <clears throat> aggregates weather data from a bunch of different sources. So it gives you a chart of like when it's going to rain up to the minute. And for Florida, it's pretty good. Like, I'm pretty happy with it. It was $3. And I was like, I no, I'm not going to buy an app. That's dumb. And then I sat back and thought, it's $3. Like, Somebody answer the, the chat. The stupid shit that I'll spend more than $3 on without a moment's notice, I was like, whatever, I'll just buy it. So I bought a couple apps just because of that line of thinking. Yeah, you're not tall enough. You can barely get your head up here. There you go. I, the only app... I paid five dollars for an app that takes all your Google contacts and then syncs them up with your Apple contacts. And I, th I think my internet's fucking up that again. That's very much worth it. Oh, oh yeah, my God. I think we might be done here. <laughs> is that is that Pat's internet? That's no, fucking my up internet's fine. No, it's your internet. Oh, no, it's it's fine. your issue. But we got forty minutes. I think we're good. I want to hang out. I think this is fun. I think I Kevin's think been frozen for fifteen seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's far. Let's uh, let's uh, sign off back. on the podcast, and then we can keep the stream going. My shit cannot handle this. Yeah, that's I keep, fine. <laughs> my internet is is. Uh, I, I actually don't think it's my internet. It's probably my computer having too much stuff running on it, like my work laptop. Yeah, maybe maybe close a tab or two. No, it's like I'm running the I'm running Twitch, I'm running Zoom, and that I mean that's pretty much and Audacity, I guess. Mm. So let's sign off on the pod. Oh, okay. We're done recording on the pod. Yeah. All right, we love you, everybody. Uh, listen some more. And yeah, and give us five stay and stars. hang out. Uh, and thank come you hang for... out on Twitch next time. Uh, I guess we'll tweet the time, but it'll be Thursday or Friday, uh, early afternoon is yeah. what I'll say. Now we'll we'll tweet out times because we have, we when we it's fit appropriate it to, our to start drinking. <laughs> yes, uh, and when I... we're not supposed to be working, when we're because we definitely work all day until uh, the end of the day, and then I stop working, and yes. that's when I start doing fun things.
I started yes. working earlier today so I could get off work I, earlier. Oh, Jackson logged to work on to work stream. at 11, 11 a.m. Wow. I put wow, my phone in, in a locker. <laughs> I put my phone in a locker before I start working just to make sure I'm 100% <laughs> focused on my work. Yes, the only thing that I can see is, you know, my computers. <laughs> we had someone get – oh, wait. Do you guys think technical – All right, we'll talk oh, to you guys later. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, love you guys. Peace. See ya.